Fast Friday Shop Talk, everybody. I took it easy today. Uh, been a rough week, but I did an agenda video this morning and I stuck to it. I uh, did some micarta scales on another BPS knife. I'll get to that in a second. It only took me an hour and a half. That's good. So I might have time to throw. I'm just not sure how my shoulder's gonna be up to it, but I'll see. But I had in my bag, I was gonna show it this morning, and actually it's good uh, Saturday Salma Gundy uh, stuff. But I was going through my drawer to see what knife I could do the scales on. And I came across some knives, I went, you know what? I need to show a couple of these. Uh, one of them, this, this is in my kitchen drawer, I use it all the time, so I brought, <laughs> I brought it out. This is the, uh, I love Joker knives. This is, I don't have my reading glasses, Aru, Aru, Arui 10. Arui 10, I think that's what, how you pronounce it. Just a beautiful, sharp knife. I use this quite a bit. That's the Joker. And along with Jokers, I got... I love their lot backs. These are the, I'm sorry about the glasses here. You think I'd wear them. These are the uh, Kangaroo One. They're just in two different colors. Joker just makes solid knives and they're razor sharp and they are made in Spain. Just fantastic knives. Here's the other one, let me get it out. I love this one, the, the wood color on it. Just a gorgeous knife. Those are jokers. Okay, no joking. Okay, then I don't know why this this was sitting in my drawer and this is an awesome knife. This is uh, Ontario, made in USA. And this is their hiking knife. This is the HK, that's what it's called. The HK, it's a hiking knife. And it has a uh, multicolor micarta scales. Absolutely love this knife. I jumped on this. I think it was uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works that did a thing on, on their Instagram, and I just jumped on it. It's just a beautiful knife, beautiful sheath, and it's one of my favorites. Nice carry too, very comfortable. And another one I saw on Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and I jumped on it, is this, uh, I knew I had a couple of these, the Condor, okay? That's my card of scales, and I forget the name, please forgive me, I did it once before, and I just can't remember right now, but it's very cool. My card of scales with that paracord center, and check out that leather sheath, okay? And then, let's see, this is a Condor, that's in the kitchen. Very sharp, used all the time. This has actually got patina. I use this all the time, and forgive me right now, I do not, this wasn't in the kitchen drawer, I remember now. This was in the, uh, there's a drawer I have for these special knives like this. Yep. I confused it with the one I just showed you. This is definitely in the kitchen drawer. I use this all the time. I love it. I need to set that off there. I might use it tonight. And then this was there. Man, you know, I love this knife just because it just takes me back years. And I told you I lost mine uh, in a fishing tackle box along with a uh, buck uh, 110 or whatever. So I got another one of those and I got me one another one of these. This is the uh, buck 119. And I absolutely love it. I love the shape of that. And it just takes me back. And I had this in a tackle box, one just like it. This is the 119, USA made. Look at the shape of that blade. That's just, that's American, man. I love that. I always remember that it is slick handles, you know? But it's a beautiful knife. So I got it to replenish the one that I had lost. And I'm glad I did. I actually had two of them. I, did a, I gave one away in a giveaway. It's an outstanding knife. It really is. 
And then I'm carrying this today. I didn't use it at all, guys. Not at all. I'm too tired to use it. And now for the uh, drum roar, drum roll. My megaphone, I need to use that. It's got dust all over it. Okay, this is the HK1. The scales didn't come out anywhere like the pattern on the uh, Amazon list. And you never know on the Micarta scales. Hurry up and show you, Steve. Okay, H the HK1 comes in different versions. You can get the one with the ferrule rod, which I did. You can get the stainless steel, the uh, more inexpensive one, 13CR, whatever it is. And you can get the, uh, what they what I get a lot of times, that's what most of their knives are, is the 1066 high carbon steel. That's what this is. This was a little bit more. But I did it before and after this morning. I, let me take a look at this. Okay, I'm gonna do this uh, before and after. Here it is. So if I have a shop talk this afternoon, I'll post this up with a video. That's the before, this is the BPS. I'm not sure the model number, but I'll find out. Very cool. So here we go. Okay, I don't know if that helped because I, I could just do this. Okay, here's the scales that were on there. And this was walnut, I believe. And remember when I said all the scales are the same? Well, now it gets a little bit different because of this back here. These are different. And I saved my scales in case I want to change my mind. I love, here it is. It's nothing, nothing like I planned on it to be. But you know what? It's okay. I like the colors. You never know. The more you sand down, uh, you just don't know. I thought, according to the picture, it should have jumped out. Uh, it should have been like, never mind. It's hard to explain. But this came out really good, guys. Look at the shape of that blade. It's razor sharp. This is 1066 high carbon steel. This is the HK1. It's got the, uh, I chose this, the size. You got jipping right there. Nice polished finish. Absolutely love that. And I got it where it fits right in the sheath, just fine. And there you go, I stuck the little tail on there. I don't know why, I just felt like I should. But yeah, this is uh, this is the HK1 Customized Micarta Scales. I thought it came out pretty good. So I gotta decide on what I'm gonna throw. I'm not sure. I'll see how I feel. Alrighty, that's it. Y'all take care and uh, sog out.